Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Akari, and we are back on the V for Vanilla server. Notice a few things are missing here. Um, put our helmet back on. I have been a little busy around the base. Uh, you notice all the chests are gone. Uh, I swapped out the stairs for wood, at least the middle. I like the way it looks, looks pretty cool. Haven't done much with that. I added a uh, way to up on top of the mountain. Turn my HUD back on. And I built an ice tray. Ooh. Yeah, I gotta kill a creeper. I don't wanna don't have him blowing nothing up. And so now I have a way of getting ice. And I have a use for the ice. I'll show you what that is here shortly. Something we're gonna work on today. Uh, just kind of a little hut. Um, kind of wish the glass was right there because you can't see unless you hop around. So I may have to change that up a bit, but it's an easy way of getting up on top. Get to the ice. Uh, nothing's changed in our farm. I added this stuff here and there. Little details. Kind of nice. Uh, being this close to spawn, the farms grow real quick. Or at least every time I get on, they're full. And anything with that. Portal. That doorway up there, I uh, was on it earlier, and I happened to walk by and I looked up and I could see a zombie poking his nose through. So I went up there to kill him, and it was actually a villager zombie. So I opened the door and let him chase me down, and I managed to trap him in there. And I converted him. We got a librarian that wants, likes giving up paper, or gives emeralds for paper. Um, I haven't bought his Bane Arthropods book, because it's not very good. But I did unlock all, I uh, did some trading with him, and that's so far all the trades he's given. Nothing else has changed that way. I did build a storage room. Uh, it's pretty generic, pretty basic. I added the creeper face in there, I thought that looked really cool. Um, got redstone lights. I'm going to change the ceiling too for that, I just don't have enough. Because it's the same thing we got down there in those two rooms. Yeah, I'm going to definitely change that. But, um, I went with signs this time. Those are all cobblestone, stone, diorite, granite, dirt. But I went with signs because um, I want to keep the lag down. Normally I use item frames, but item frames tend to cause frame rate lag. Got lapis, redstone. So basically I got everything over here. 19 diamond ores that I haven't fortuned yet. And I'm going to fortune them. I was at spawn. I want to respond just to see if anything's changed. Nothing has really, but I thought, well, Zara, I'd check and see what enchants I can do on a full level 30, and I had an option to do a fortune 3. I wasn't in a position to record or I would have, so I ran back, got all the stuff I needed, and I, I enchanted that pick and got fortune 3, efficiency 4, unbreaking 3. I was as happy as can be. So I, because I've been saving these diamonds for when I could fortune them. And there's 19. Let's see how many we get out of this. All right, there's 23. And we got. 45 diamonds. Sweet. Oh, there goes the lag. So we are up to 47 diamonds. And also got a name tag of that one out of the, uh, oh, that zombie spawner I found, which at some point we're going to use. So that's all I've really changed there. And then the thing we're going to work on today, or in this episode, not the farm. It's down here. Oh, we need a few things. Before we go down there and get started. And miscellaneous chest. Need all these water buckets. And we need ice. Lots and lots of ice. Um didn't need that, so we'll move it over. 
And I have been working uh, on a, a new form. So this is designed that fix to show you or that I've been building is something I saw JL and Doc M do. And I thought it's very cool. And just had to give it a shot. Why is he so much slower? Huh. And here it is. It will be a, a uh, squid farm. First thing we got to do, though, is break these few torches right here. I had them because I didn't want mobs to spawn. And my testing says they should not spawn with torches up there. Or I got to put ice right there in each one of these. I'll go show the rest of it. And we'll put the ice from the bottom. It'll be easier. So we're going to have a big old squid farm. I've cleared all that out. Got a ton of resources from it. Um, I've already set the tracks up. And a little cart it's up there. Where'd he go? There he is. It sort of runs back and forth. He'll pick all the drops up. And when he's full, he'll drop down in here and drop everything there. And I'm using jack lanterns to light it up. Because uh, glowstone is kind of a commodity. I should have, uh, oh, that sucks. Surprised I didn't take damage on that. Kill that. Rather deal with a few mobs than deal with water mess everywhere. And so I am going to work on getting the ice placed. And then I will be right back. Back, and I got all the ice blocks placed. Hopefully nothing spawns up here while we go uh, set all the water. Oh, I forgot. I just remember something else I have to have. Um. Hopefully nothing spawns while I run up here and get this, because I will be out of range. I need glowstone. Oop. I do that every single time. And I'm only going to take that much. You there, you there. And hopefully... Oh, I'm going to need more blocks. Than, no, I have it set up already. Never mind. Hopefully nothing spawned down there like a creeper. That's my main concern. Because that would uh, make a bad day. Uh, I don't see nothing so far. Yay, and the way this works... Can I reach there? And see, that should go right down in that hole there, if I've done everything right. And I have. Sweet. And I'll just have to fill all these in. Which will uh, make for a very interesting time. Alright guys, looks like uh, all the water has been placed. And yeah, make sure we've got the bow handy in case we get down there and discover something has spawned that we didn't want to spawn. I want that and our silk touch for sure. And doesn't look like anything's up here, so that's a good thing. 
And the key is to put no blocks right next to it. So they can go right here. Um, I'll probably go with that one. I don't know how far apart I gotta make them. Don't know how long it'll take to melt the ice. Uh, that one's melted. That's sweet. Let's go right there. There. And sweet. Ice is melting. Like Potsy's getting off. Now we just gotta wait for all the ice to melt. It looks like it's almost there. I have no idea how efficient this is going to be. The biggest problem with this farm is going to be all the rivers and stuff around um, that I cannot light up because I'm close to spawn. So I'm hoping this at least gets some drops. I wonder what time it is. We're going to go see if it's daytime or not. Yeah, we'll just wait. In fact, uh, I'm going to wait for all the ice to melt and then I'll be right back. Back. All the ice has melted. Now, as long as another six sides of the water source block gets updated, ice will never change. It'll still be there. So I can actually take this off. No change. Which is spectacular. It's very cool. Now I'm going to take out all the, the scaffolding. go all the scaffolding has been removed probably a few spots I should clean up but I'll do that off camera later and there we go get a screenshot and I wonder when I walked away, it had a lot. I think I should have built this further away. Or further down. I wasn't thinking when I did that. But look at that. There's 30 of them in there already. And that was a very short period of time.
Um, I don't know how far back I'll have to get. I know I'm more than 20 blocks away from the top. This way. I am going to add some glass in up here too so you can see in. Oh, no, that was the cart. I was going to say one drop. So we're going to walk away and we'll step away and then we'll come back and check it. And I'm having some serious lag issues, anyways, so I'll be right back. Alright, guys, we're back and I ran over to the uh, to spawn area use the enchantment table but it is where was it gone so that means that uh, sea money i think it was sea money finished the enchantment area or at least worked on it and i hope i don't spoil anything here but i need to enchant some stuff so public enchanting turn on ceiling lamps for high level enchants so what do we get? And lag is killing me, by the way. Level six, okay. And well, that's cool. Come on, open. Thank you. Efficiency. Efficiency, which is fine on the sh on the axe. I want efficiency and the shovel. That is not fine for that, so we're going to do the axe because it's one of the main things I wanted. And that, I'll take that. And let's see what we get on here. Let's see, four. Ooh, I'd like to have that. My shovel. Okay, I'm going to go run around. Let's see, where's it? There it is. I'm going to hang out in the skeleton spawner for a little bit, get some levels back up. And when I get that done. Big lag. And I hadn't shown this before. This is the skeleton spawner, I think. RJ and Tricky found and set up. Basically, you stand right here. And uh, they pop out here. You hit the button. It kicks out lava for a minute. I think that needs to be down. But I want to get the levels back up to 30, and then I will be right back. These are back. I managed to get 31 levels. We're lost. Ah, oh, there it is right there. Right, let's get that shovel. And a lag. Come on. Thank you. Efficiency four. Unbreaking. That that's a good shovel. Yeah, let's see what kind of sword we can get. Uh I'll take sharpness three. Set them out of levels again. Okay, I'm going to get some more levels and I'll be right back. We're back. We got to level 30. And let's see if we can't get that sword enchanting. I don't like my back being to open areas. Come on. Sharpness 3. I'd rather have sharpness 4, but. Ooh. Sharpness 3, looting 1. Looting 2. I, I live with that. It's not the greatest, but acceptable. And I really want that, because, yeah, I'm going to go get uh, some more levels. And we will enchant the, the, the pick next. Be right back. All right, back. Got the 30 levels here. And we're going to get that efficiency four on our pick. And that's all it was. Well, that's okay. Need a good pick anyways. But I think we're going to call that a episode, guys. Oh, wait. We want to check one more thing. Let's show you how many ink sacks we got. So far. I also, uh, while I was waiting on the ink sacks and stuff, I placed all the doors with iron because zombies were breaking down to get to the villager. And this was area was going to be for a chicken farm. And I dug it out to be a bedroom. Of course, I just put the bed in here. 
And then I did a little decorating up front. Lag. Gotta love it. Uh, not much. Put chest. Just gloves. Couch. A chair. Coffee table. Plant. I thought that'd look like a, a spigot. And let's see how many ink sacks we've gotten so far. And then I'm going to have to uh, get some potions. I uh, finished the glass out. It looks cool. You probably never see anything drop. Don't like some of these random torches. I may have to go in there and fix that. Heard something walking around. This area should be pretty safe. All right, let's see what we got. I made that double chest, by the way. Almost three stacks. That's pretty good. I'm gonna take those for now. And that's where we're gonna call it, guys. I want to thank you for watching. And if you uh, until next time, bye.